Hi everyone, this is Terry at terryscraftroom.com. Welcome back, I'm glad you could join me today. So today we are going to feature one of our new die sets in um, the new annual catalog. And it is the layering diorama dies. And that's these dies right here. And they are so much fun. And I'll show you how. Let me show you the card I made. So the, this part on the front is the cutout of the layering diorama. And then when you open it, you have the diorama on the inside. These are the cutouts. Isn't that fun? We're going to make this card today using our layering diorama card, dies. Now what the dies we're using are the these two middle ones here. Okay. And if you miss any of the the measurements or the the score lines or anything, I'll have everything over on my blog and I'll have a direct link to it down in the description block, box below. Go over to my blog and you'll get all the information you need there. It'll have a list of all the products I used for this um, card as well. So first thing we've got the layering diorama dies. The embossing folder back here is our hammered metal embossing folder. That's a fun embossing folder. And the turtle Turtle Friends Bundle. We have the Turtle Punch and the Turtle Friends Stamp Set. So much fun. I just love this stamp set. I have been using it like crazy. Oh, and we're also using the Mountain Air Set along with the Majestic Mountain Dies. So we'll be using those two. So let's get started. First thing we need are, let's get our supply list here. Let's set this aside. So we need, there's my other card. So our card base is not your typical card base. It is eight inches by five and a half. So we cut a half an inch off of one side, and then it's scored at four and a quarter. So it's almost a normal card base. It's just one side is shorter than the other. Okay, set that aside. Then we need another piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half, and we'll score that in a minute. We need this is our front mat for the front, and this is four by five and a quarter. This is for our the inside of our diorama and this is it's a sixteenth of an inch shorter on both edges than five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's actually four and three sixteenths by five and seven sixteenths. So if you if you cut it five and a half by four and a quarter and just shave off a hair, that's what you need. Okay, we have some ribbon. We have two pieces of basic white scrap paper pieces to stamp on, and we've got some other pieces here from our rectangular stitch rectangles that we need. Okay, so we're gonna take this piece of eight and a half by five and a half cardstock, and to get it to lay correctly, I am going to um, let me make sure that I haven't done it already. I am going to just shave off a sixteenth of an inch, and basically that's the width of this dark part on my um, on my uh, trimmer and that's how much I shaved off that's it okay but that will make all the difference for letting this 
lay nicely. Now our scoring on this piece okay so we want to score this piece at a half an inch at four and a quarter and four and three quarters okay so a half an inch four and a quarter and four and three quarters okay and then we want to take this piece that I said was a sixteenth of an inch smaller than four and a quarter by five and a half and you can see right here you can see right here it's it's right between the four and an eighth and four and a quarter but we're going to score this one at a quarter of an inch and then we're going to turn it around and score it at a quarter of an inch okay so that's all the scoring there is to this so now I'm going to take I'm going to set my card base aside I'm going to take this piece and this piece and I am going to take the bigger of the two diorama cut dies so I'm going to take the bigger one and I'm going to put it in here between here's the half inch score line here's the four and a quarter inch score line so I am going to cut it out like this let me see if you can see those score lines that's better so I'm going to cut my diorama piece out and I'll be right back okay so now I have this you can see I've cut it out between the two score lines now I'm going to take this piece that I scored at a quarter inch on both sides and I'm going to line the each one of these quarter inch score lines up with this score line and this score line then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to put a mark here and there so I can see where this diorama will fall on the inside of this and with those marks I can line this one up just like this and then go cut this one out and this is the smaller of the two and that gives me this okay so now we're done with the diorama the other thing I need to do is I need to take this piece which is the four by five and a quarter piece and I, I need to emboss it so I'll be right back and through the magic of television <laughs> here we are it's embossed now I'm going to take and I've done some of the stamping ahead of time so just to make this a quicker video because it's more about the technique of putting the card together than stamping but I took the mountains here and I want the mountains to be showing on the back part on the inside of my card so what I did was <clears throat> this will go into my card it'll be like this so here are my mountains okay and I'm gonna fold and burnish these score lines and you'll see it in just a second how it so and there's how the mountains will show isn't that cool okay so let, let's start putting this together okay so what we've got is you want to fold and burnish all your score lines 
even on this little piece here, or quarter inch score lines here. And then I'm going to put a strong adhesive down the in, inside these two score lines. And then I'm also going to put an adhesive right here on this score line. Okay, so to put this together, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put this, the side with our mountains and the side with no score line, and glue it onto the smaller side. You can tell we have one side larger, one side smaller. We're going to do it on the smaller side of our card base just like that okay just like so okay now what I want to do is I'm going to line this edge right here not the score line but the edge up with this first score line here and then I'm going to let me make sure I've got it in the right way I'm going to release my backing and just close the card okay so now I've got this now I'm going to bend it at the next score line so I'm bending it like that and then I'm going to release the second backing on my middle piece and close the card like this okay and then the last thing to make the diorama card we're going to release that and then we're going to bend or just close the card going that way so then you've got it just pops up naturally when you open the card. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now we're just going to put the rest of the card together. I've already stamped two, two big turtles, one little turtle, a happy birthday, you are turtly loved, I've stamped and cut out, die cut, two trees and a cloud and then of course we've got our insert insides from our layering diorama and our our hammered metal piece and our bow And there we have our turtle card. Are we using the layering diorama dies? Isn't that adorable? 
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. I hope you have a wonderful day and go on over to terryscraftroom.com to um, check out my blog and get all the instructions on and the measurements and everything for this card. Um, yeah, have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.